What's going on, y'all? Let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra three months later. Now, of course, for those of you that do follow my channel, you know I got a S24 Ultra. I think, I can't remember the month, but I know it was earlier, real early in the year. Maybe January or February. I can't remember exactly. But I had a lot of performance issues with that device, and I had to send it back. I was just so disappointed with the performance. I mean, just just it was bad. It just wasn't good at all. But let me say this. No performance issues with this. I sent that one back. I got another one as you can see. Um this is not the way it came. I put a skin on here because I got, you know, I wanted to get the red Samsung um S23 Ultra, but it didn't look red to me. It looked um like orange, you know, like a like the color of salmon. I didn't like it. I just hated that because, I mean, if you're going to give us a red phone, Samsung, give us an actual red phone, like cherry red, like the Note 10 Lite. That was a beautiful cherry red device. So I put this skin on top of it. Because of that, I like it much, much better. Now, how has my experience been for the last three months? It's been great. OK, now, of course, y'all know I still don't like this always on display as far as the fact that you know the notifications are so small they're all white they don't come in there you know they don't come in their particular color anymore i do like the added widgets i do like that but i don't like how small these notifications are and i don't like the fact that they're all white i hate that so that's a big thing you know that's a big change that i really don't like about one ui six Dot one. I hope Samsung will listen to the people that have an issue with it. Maybe most don't have an issue with it because I don't know of anybody that even talks about that except for me and Flossie Carter. OK, you know, he said about how much he, you know, disliked it and I don't like it either. I really don't. But I still like the always on display, but I don't like that. The fingerprint sensor has been really impressive. I mean, seriously, <laughs> I mean, this is the best fingerprint sensor as far as in display that I've ever used on a Samsung device. Easily the best. I mean, because it's literally just a light tap and you're in there. OK, now the animation is not that great, you know, and the way it comes on isn't, you know, I got other devices that look a lot better, you know, when it comes to that. But just the ultrasonic fingerprint display, I mean, and. <laughs> So, sorry about that. Ultrasonic in display fingerprint sensor as a whole, it's excellent. It really is. It's really good, y'all. You can see. All I'm doing is just literally just tapping the screen. I don't have to put my finger there and hold it. I don't have to do none of that. It's literally a quick tap and you and you win. <laughs> but the the face unlock is still mediocre. It's still sometimes it sees my face, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm definitely not impressed with the face unlock. So the biometrics is kind of like 50-50. The, the face unlock is mediocre, but the um, fingerprint sensor is excellent. I really like it. Now, of course, uh, and I meant to say, now the build quality is really good. You know, I like how Samsung made this device, you know, thicker. You know, I, I like a phone that has a little bit of thickness to it. I don't like thin phones. I know some of you out there like thin phones. I don't like thin phones. Now, maybe when it comes to foldables, maybe people want those to be thinner, which I can kind of understand. You know, everybody don't want a big, giant, thick device in their pocket. They want something thinner. I understand it. But for a regular slab phone, I don't want a super thin device. I want the phone to have some thickness to it. And this has some nice thickness to it. And I like that. Now, it's not the most comfortable device to hold in my hand without a case. That's why I always use cases because the corners are really not rounded off. They're just not. And they could stab you, you know, in my they could stab me in my palm. And I don't like that. OK, but the build quality overall is great. Now, when it comes to build quality, honestly. I would say when it comes to the display, I absolutely have no scratches. Now, I just got a, one little ding up here in the corner. You you probably can barely even see it unless you're in direct sunlight. That's the only time I really see it. 
but no micro scratches. It, it's just weird because when I had the other S23 that I sent back, that thing had micro scratches all over the place. But this one has zero micro scratches, no blemishes whatsoever, except the little nick I have up here because I dropped, I dropped my device on cement a few weeks ago. So I got just a little ding. But you, you can't even see it unless you're in direct sunlight. That's the only time I see it. So, you know, when I'm indoors, I can't see it at all. Not at all. So overall build quality on this device is excellent and I love it. Now, of course, the design is nice. You know, it's not flashy. It's kind of laid back, kind of like that business type of look. I like it. It's OK. But, you know, <laughs> if I had to pick between the design of this and the OnePlus 12, I'm definitely taking the OnePlus 12. It just has more style, more class, more charisma, more excitement to it, in my opinion. All right. Now, when it comes to this beautiful 6.8 inch Quad HD, you know, display, I love it. You know, Quad HD, 120 hertz. It's beautiful. It gets super bright. I mean, really, really bright. And also, one of the things I like about it um, even more so, let me show you real quick. When you go into display, you see that says the extra brightness. I can make this display even brighter, which I absolutely love. I mean, I just love that because I like my display super bright. That's just me, y'all. I, I, it is what it is. I want it super bright. I want it vibrant. I want these colors to be popping. And also, my eyes ain't as good as they used to be, so I need the extra brightness. You know, I, I need it. I honestly need it. It just makes things much, much easier for me to read, easier for me to view content when the thing is bright. I love it. So this display is absolutely awesome. Now, when it comes to performance, the performance overall has been great on this device, but it's not as responsive when I'm touching things as my OnePlus 12 and my Mi 11 Ultra and my Vivo X Note. It's just not as responsive. I'm not saying it's not responsive because it is, but sometimes I find myself having to touch apps twice, you know, for them to open. And that that's annoying because I don't have to do that with any of my other devices, you know, that I just mentioned. But as you can see here, see, sometimes I have to touch stuff twice. I just wish it was a little more responsive, but it is fast. It is smooth. Overall, no issues with performance at all. Now, the one area I have been having some issues just recently is when I want to pull down my notification shade. Sometimes it responds to my finger doing it. Sometimes it won't respond at all. Like I have to keep doing it over and over again for it to respond. I don't know. Now it seems like it's doing it fine. Like I'm not having no problems right now. But just over this past week and last week, every, you know, a lot of times when I, because I'm always checking my notifications and I just use swipe down. There's no need for anybody to have to go all the way up here. You don't have to do that. You can just swipe down anywhere on the screen to bring down your notifications. And sometimes it just seems like it just don't respond. Like right now, I'm not having any issues now that I'm on camera. Now it's not giving me any issues, but that's something that has been giving me issues uh, the last uh, two weeks, I'll say. But it seems like it's working good, good right now, but that's the only issue that I have with um, when it comes to performance. The dual stereo speakers on this device is really, really good. I do like the speakers on the OnePlus, so just a tad bit better, but these are really good, very impressive, nice and loud, good balance with sound overall, great dual stereo speakers. Also, let's talk about the battery life. Now, of course, this comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and as far as battery life is concerned, compared to my Note 20 Ultra, it's night and day. <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, I respect anybody that's going to hold on to your Note 20 Ultra because you don't want to give up, you know, that SD card support. I respect that. I understand it. And I'm not trying to convince you to give it up. But the reason why I had to give that up, and I'm not talking about as far as give away the phone, but I'm saying to upgrade to this, the battery life on that phone was terrible. I could not even get through a full day. I mean, I'm talking about for me. Maybe you get through a full day with no problem. I couldn't. That battery was terrible because it was too small for that device. You're talking about a 6.9 inch Quad HD display and you're only giving me 4,500 4, milliamp hours. That's crazy. 
So the, the battery size just not wasn't big enough for that device. But this one here, 5,000 milliamp hours, and you know, the software is optimized a lot better. The battery life has been solid. I mean, seriously. It's kind of weird though how the battery life, right, now let me say that the standby time still could be a lot better. It still could be way, way better. Okay, it's still nowhere near as good as my OnePlus 12 or my Vivo X Note or my Mi 11 Ultra or my um, uh, Asus, Asus ROG 5. It ain't in my LG V60. It ain't touching none of them. The standby time on all those devices are better than this. So the standby time can be better. But I'm trying to, it's hard to explain the battery life on this. It's like, okay, it, say I don't use this. I don't use a lot of screen on time. Say my average screen on time with this device is maybe two and a half hours a day. So by the time I get home, I'm looking at probably. 40 in the in the I say low 40s far as far um, as percentage left, which is not bad. I mean, easily get through a full day. No, no problem. You're not. But I'm not getting two days out of this. Now, keep in mind, I'm using 100 percent brightness. I'm using always on display on at its highest setting. I'm using those w widgets. So if you're not a person that's doing all of that, you're probably going to get even better battery life than I am. But I'm just saying I'm good for a day. No battery anxiety, nothing. But it's weird how I'll use way more battery when I use this phone less. But when I use this phone heavy, I get better battery life. Now, I, let me let me just show you what I mean. OK, look at this. This is my battery life so far today. OK, let me go back. OK, I've been on this. I've been using this device for almost seven hours, six hours and 58 minutes. So you might say seven hours, right? But look at this screen on time, five hours and 19 minutes. Look at my percentage. I think that says 61%. Yeah, 61% battery after five hours and 19 minutes of screen on time. That's impressive. That's not even, I'm not even halfway through the battery and I'm already getting close to six hours of screen on time. Now, let me just say, I was using... When I was um, when I decided to, you know, cook breakfast this morning for me and my wife, I was downstairs and I, you know, I always play, you know, my Star Trek stuff when I'm cooking. That's just that's just what I do. I'm a Trekkie. OK. And I just played it from the time I started and I played it through all the time. We sat down to eat breakfast, we were just sitting in the kitchen playing and it played for hours. I mean, literally three or four hours straight. And then when I finally, after four and a half hours, I finally stopped it and turned the screen off. I had like 75% battery left at four hours and four and a half hours of screen on time. So it seems like when I use this phone really, really heavy, the battery life really just, it just sips battery. But when I use it light, that it seemed like it drains more battery. I, I just can't, under, I don't understand that. I, I just can't figure that out. Let me see if I could show y'all something different. Okay, now look at yesterday. No, I can't use yesterday because I charged it again yesterday. Okay. All right, so look at this. So this was uh, Thursday. No, no, Wednesday. <clears throat> see that screen on time? Three hours and eight minutes. And that's after 80. That's, that's how much I had left. 81% left. So that's about almost about 30-something percent. But that's only after three hours and eight minutes a screen on time. And that was after like, um, let me see. So I can't go back to the date on this on this one here, only on the next one. But I mean, that was after an 18 hour uh, workday or 17 hour workday. But I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy using that much battery with only that little bit of screen on time. But you see today. I use the phone considerably more but i'm i'm getting better battery life okay five almost five and a half hours of screen on time and only and i still got 61 percent battery life left and and keep in mind that's a hundred percent brightness if you don't believe me look a hundred percent brightness now i have been turning the extra brightness off because usually i was using that extra brightness for like three weeks because i just love my 
device to be super bright and vivid. But I noticed I was getting less battery life, which of course makes sense. But I turned that off and I do definitely get better battery life with the extra brightness off. Now I know I can just, I can still use the extra brightness all day, every day and still get through a full day with no problem. But of course I'm getting better battery life with it off. But that's weird. It seemed like this thing uh, preserves the battery better and uses less battery when you push it really, really hard than when you're just using it light to moderate. But I'm impressed. Definitely impressed. <laughs> All right. Now, of course, when it comes to the cameras, I'm definitely, definitely impressed with these cameras. These cameras are great. Just check out my full review on this device. Check out the camera quality and the video quality. It's great. Okay. These are these are these are way up there when it comes to cameras. They 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 up there at the top. Okay, with the OnePlus 12, with my Mi 11 Ultra, my Vivo X Note. They right up there with all of them. These cameras are great. Zero issues with the cameras on the S23 Ultra. So if you're thinking about getting this device and you're worrying about camera quality, you ain't got to worry about it at all. Excellent camera quality. Okay. So three months later with the S23 Ultra, I've been satisfied, honestly. I just think the standby time could be better, okay? But other than that, oh, and of course, I wish Samsung would get back to the old, uh, you know, always on display. I just hate the always on display as far as how small these notifications are and that they're all white. I just hate it. You know, the animate the animations can be a lot better. You know, there's no haptic feedback with the fingerprint sensor but the fingerprint sensor itself is great you know getting really good battery life great performance great display great cameras you know <laughs> you want to get android 18 security updates for a while you know probably another three years this is a great device honestly so if you're considering this device <laughs> look i highly recommend the s23 ultra just like i highly recommend the one plus 12 I highly recommend the S23 Ultra. It's a beast. It's a great device. And I would easily take this over the Note 20 Ultra. Easily. I think the only thing that the, the Note 20 Ultra I miss, of course, the expandable storage. And I love, I think I like the design of the um, Note 20 Ultra better. I do like the design better. But I like the, you know, the build of this. The thickness of this, the weight of this, the display, the camera, everything else I like better on this. And I'm just keeping it 100. I just like everything else better on this. All right. So thank you all for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. I hope everybody out there staying safe, staying well. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.